Hello and welcome to another Dragon Ball Z SH Figures review. This time we're taking a look at the highly anticipated and my, of course, my favorite character, the brand new Vegeta, or as it's been named, uh, the Scouter Vegeta. Uh, as you can see, it's in its uh, <clears throat> new packaging that's uh, been around since the Goku Awakening figure. He comes in his uh, cross arms pose here. You got the same thing going on there. Some other pictures there some posing ideas there and got Nappa there which I'm also really look really looking forward towards uh, some more stuff on the bottom now view the figure from the side let's go so let's go ahead and open it up and here is Vegeta with all of his accessories and I'm gonna get into uh, my personal opinions at the about the figure uh, towards the end but for now let's uh, just take a solid look at the figure uh, by itself and one thing you'll notice is that it is uh, lacking uh, some of the very nice shading and detailing that the original Vegeta figure had which um, we'll take a uh, comparison at uh, in a few minutes um, and there's no panel lining on the armor which I think would have been a nice detail they just would have outlined the detailing on the armor here but you know they didn't do that uh, the tail looks really nice, uh, and we'll get into this, the tail accessories, like, it's molded so nicely that it doesn't really look like it could come off. Uh, the armor bits here are a lot better than the, uh, ones that came, uh, on the original one. These are actually on a hinge, and, um, I don't think those are meant to come off. Uh, I think that if they come off, it'll just simply break. So, so don't want to be too rough with that, but let's pose the other ones, which were on a very loose ball joint. Uh, these are a lot more secure. Uh, these are also very tight. And one thing, this figure is nice and solid. Uh, we'll take a look at the original one in a minute, but even, even mine is on the, my original Vegeta is a, a bit on the uh, better side, but all original Vegeta figures are pretty, uh, uh, loose especially in the legs he's got the knife I really uh, ever since they implemented this uh, torso joint in the uh, trunks and original uh, well original and then the Super Saiyan trunks and Vegeta figures I really like the way the armor looks with that joint there and got the new uh, hip uh, joints there and overall I mean got you know the hinge here I mean pretty basic uh, figure arts uh, posability uh, nothing lacking although it was like it's weird like his crotch area is a lot darker than the rest like is his butt you know, his butt is uh, like I'm, that's kind of weird anyway uh, very good looking figure um, that's my favorite uh, expression for him especially since this is like the more pure evil uh, part of Vegeta uh, just like the original Vegeta he also comes with a second head that does not have the gap here for the scouter which I have no okay like they got that there that is not that distracting there's absolutely really no reason to hold to have a second head the exact same where it just you just can't have the scouter unless like they just know like people are just going to buy this for the non super saiyan hair uh and put it on the super saiyan vegeta which we're going to try try that out in a minute to see if that worked but um you know it does come with you know the, that that pops off there comes with a stern face uh, the uh, smiling face I like the screaming face and uh, yeah he's got a, a little bit of a vein popping out there and he's got just a more just angry face he also comes with two different types of scouters well three kind of comes with the more traditional scouter that we've seen before comes with uh, 
The new one, which actually has some little uh, readings on it. There you go. And come on, focus. There you go. Like he's reading Kakarotto's power level there. Uh, comes with a. This tail is a lot longer than the other tail that the first Vegeta came with, and that is uh, really nice. Comes with cross arms, which you always saw. Comes with his standard fists, his open hand palms, his kind of clenched up uh, hands, which are could be used for the Galico or the um, Final Flash. And he's got the famous uh, crushed scatter fist there. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and show you. Swap out the arms. Just pop off the regular arms unless you're just taking it, just now taking out of the package. He'll already have the cross arms on. And best way to do it is to kind of pop it on one side and wrap it around there like that. There you go, and to put on his scouter, which will go with this one, just uh, kind of find the gap there, just push it in, stays in pretty pretty securely, but not, I mean, I don't think, it, the original one was pretty loose, uh, but man, that is really awesome. And um, let's uh, go ahead and swap out with the, um, uh, let's go with this face here. Take those arms off and we'll put this arm back on. And we'll take this hand off and give him this silly crushed scouter arm and that's one thing is like you've got to do a lot of turning to you kind of feel like pop to um make sure that the arm stays in place so you got the I like that arm just fell off i didn't get that one in tight enough squeaky 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 there you go. come on squeaky there you go. Close enough. There you go. So, I hate this meme. I've never liked it. It's never been funny, but there you have it. It's uh, it's over 9,000 expression, or if you want to go to buy the manga or the original uh, adaptation in Japanese, it's over 8,000. No, they just change it from 8 to 9,000. Either some sort of dubbing error or they just want to make it higher. But, yeah, you can do that. So let's uh, get out the other Vegetas. And, um, oh, first I want to show how to take off his tail. It's pretty simple. Just take, take it out from his butt. So he's got a little butthole there. And pop the new one in. And there you go. He's a monkey now. He's not an ape. He's a monkey because apes don't have tails. So, I like the way this one looks. And it actually goes off to the side. And it's a lot longer. And it looks actually looks like it could wrap around his waist. So funny to see Vegeta with a tail nowadays. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and get out the other Vegetas and do a quick comparison. Alright, so here we have uh, the new Scouter Vegeta with the OG Scouter Vegeta. And with the Super Saiyan Vegeta. Uh, so you can see like what I was saying about the shading earlier like I really like the shading that was done on the original one um, but that's really about it uh, even as far as like just the overall look of it is it looks like in comparison this Vegeta looks like his head is just kind of scrunched down it almost looks like a like a, a little kid wearing a varsity uh, high school shoulder pads almost it just looks slightly unnatural uh, this one 
fits a lot more uh, a lot uh more i don't know it just it just looks better um the tail on this one's a much uh lighter brown um but overall like this is a much higher quality figure uh it does have its flaws and mainly that it's um you know lacking in paint and i've seen some customizers do the difference but like look at this like you can see yeah mine like mine's not as bad as some people's like mine can stand up perfectly you know okay by itself but you know posability is not going to be too great but you can see a difference like this and like nothing like this is a much higher quality figure and like it looks so good like compared like you know having saiyan saga versus the android saga vegeta uh you know like these two look really good together the blue on this one's a little bit darker um but while i'm thinking about it i'm gonna see if um this because i know that bandai have been kind of assholes about about uh you know what i think it's not gonna fit nope it sure the hell is not i don't think it's gonna fit I think this ball joint is just a little bit too big for this hole here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to risk breaking it because I'm not really going to display like that anyway. But yeah, remember back in the, that's one thing that's kind of good about the original figure arts is that like, yeah, that pops on. I'm not, that is not going to fit. It's slightly, man, that's, that's a dick move. I don't know why they do that. Overall, if you do not have the original Scouter Vegeta, definitely pick this one up. It's like it's no question. But this is, I know I believe I said this about the about the that other Super Saiyan Vegeta, but this is my favorite uh, Vegeta figure right now. Uh, it's very very nice. However. It is missing some accessories that this one uh, has. It does not have the Tamashi stand. Uh, this one has the cool blast effect. And um, it is missing some hands. Uh, even if you have this one, you should still hold on to this one just for the accessories. And for the collector value of it be, as being an older Vegeta figure. Because it is still a good figure. It's still fantastic. Just that... You know, it's just outdated by this new one. And it's much cheaper now. It's so worth getting. You, if you do have the old one or if you don't have it, either way, pick this one up now. Because this is going to be a very satisfying figure and very fun. Uh, Alright guys, you can pick this up at BigBadToyStore.com. You can click the link in the description below. You can follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash SSJAutobot. You can Instagram me too, SSJAutobot. And I'll catch you next time.